Have you ever done something you regret? I certainly have. It was about 8 p.m. My back was aching, the smell of gasoline and oil lingered in the garage, and there I was in shock at realizing I had really screwed up this time. My four-wheeler was, and still is, my prized possession. It may have been just a $500, 36-year-old Facebook Marketplace Christmas gift, but to me, it was a gateway to motorsports in the world of off-roading. Working on the machine was almost more fun than riding it. Some nights I'd spend hours just inspecting, cleaning, and adjusting parts like a herpetologist studying a newly discovered species of lizard. Although, I knew something wasn't right. Considering I've always been a mechanically inclined person, it wasn't unusual for me to hear something off in the way my vehicle's 2.5 liter single cylinder engine was running. However, I hadn't tried too hard to fix it before. What's expected of a young mechanic with a not quite right four wheeler, besides cleaning the engine the carburetor so that it operates better? The carburetor is a pretty complicated part, but it was pretty simple to pull apart. Just a couple of Phillips head screws and the fuel jets were all I needed to touch. It was putting the carburetor back together, which I regret so much. Everything was going how I thought it would, up until I did a test run and figured I'd have to tighten the choke screw a bit more. Suddenly, the head of the screw came off with a soft yet still horrifyingly audible snap. Now, in my defense, I had no idea the screw was plastic. It felt as though it was a normal metal screw like what you find holding together a shelf or a bicycle. I searched everywhere for a screw that would fit the carburetor. Unfortunately, it can be very tough to find custom parts for a 36-year-old vehicle. It's not the end of the world, I was told by some friends. It sounded fine to me before you touched it, my dad said. I wasn't content with fine, though. I had to prove to myself that I'm competent in fixing things. What troubled me more than breaking the screw, though, was the phrase, everything can be perfect practically ringing in my head after I broke that little plastic screw. Everything can't be perfect. I hadn't really thought about that before. Most things I work on are simple enough to work brilliantly with a little bit of wrenching and WD-40. Although the engine in my four-wheeler may not have sounded amazing, for a 36-year-old vehicle it ran like a deer being chased by my dog. In conclusion, just because something isn't perfect, doesn't mean it has to be fixed. No human is perfect, and understanding that puts you a giant step forward in the quest for wisdom and understanding that is life.